Good afternoon. My name is Tom. I come to you from the great state of Maine. Welcome to Beaver Creek Deer Camp. Well, it's the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was going to try to get myself back in here last night, but that plan didn't go as planned, so I ended up coming in this morning. But I'm in here. Tomorrow is the last day of rifle season. So I'm, uh, i got high hopes. I mean, there's a lot of deer in the area. It's just a question of uh, getting one to cooperate. My Thanksgiving dinner was yesterday, so I found my way home. And this morning on the way out of town, I uh, stopped at the post office. You know, get the mail and see how many more days I can stay in here. Tomorrow is the last day of rifle season, and now we start two weeks of muzzle loading season. So I've still got two more weeks to deer hunt, so I'm not too awful uh, uptight. I have seen a couple. I saw a doe uh, yesterday morning, so that was fun, out of the tree stand. And I also saw, a couple of days ago, I saw a four-point buck come through. So that was fun also. I'm not looking for either one of those right now, uh, but today being the last day of uh, rifle season and tomorrow, if a doe comes through, then I'm going to... Uh, uh, think about the freezer and probably, if, as long as it's a good size dough, there's some big ones in here, so I have the bonus, bonus tag for the dough, so I'll probably fill that if I get the opportunity. That's my plan anyways, either tonight or tomorrow. What I would like to do is get a dough tonight, or a buck, don't matter, but then hunt tomorrow as well, because you have uh, 18 hours before you got to get out to the tagging station. So if I got a doe or a buck tonight, I could hunt tomorrow morning and get a whack at another one. Wouldn't that be fun to show up at the tagging station with two deer for one hunting license? I think that would be pretty good. But getting back to stopping at the post office. <laughs> in our post office, we get a yellow slip in the mail when there's something that won't fit in the box. I have one of those boxes at the post office. And uh, so if it doesn't fit in the box, they slide in a yellow slip. And usually I only get yellow slips when uh, I buy something or purchase something online and doesn't fit in the box, so uh, I, I wasn't expecting anything. Today I got one of those yellow slips in the mail, and I wasn't expecting anything at all. I said, I said this is funny, I haven't ordered anything. <laughs> so I went to the desk and got my, got my what was in the box waiting for me. Last week we did a live stream here at the cabin. You see that bottle of syrup behind me? That log cabin store-bought syrup? Well, some of the viewers kind of took pity on me. And one in particular, Stacy, he's been a part of the channel for a long time. He is way too good to the East Grand Woodsman, let me tell you. So in the mail this morning was a package from Stacy. <laughs> now I was expecting... When I saw the name, and uh, he had already left me a comment, that, but he told me in the spring. He didn't say anything about right now. <laughs> so, and I took the time to open this box ahead of time. He sent it all packaged up. But in this box, look at this. Look at the, the a, a bottle of pure honey. I'm uh, not honey. A bottle of, of pure maple syrup. <laughs> he said he makes it right there where he lives. Uh, makes it every spring. And he sent me a bottle of this for my pancakes out here at the cabin. So Stacy, thank you very much. And when I cook those pancakes, I will definitely uh, do a video sharing this um, maple syrup. <laughs> so well, that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Thank you very, very, very much. 
from the East Grand Woodsman at Beaver Creek Be Deer Camp. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, you're way too good to me, Stacy. Way too good to me. I believe he's from Wisconsin. If I got that wrong, Stacy, fix it in the comment for me. I lose track. Jeez, I might even say he. Uh, Got my glasses on. But I do think I got the I do think I got the wrong state. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> well, Stacy, I put my glasses on and the package says you are from Iowa. <laughs> Which you already knew that. So I think I've got your state right finally. I just wanted to thank you uh, very much for that syrup and I wanted to make sure to have the right steak because I think that is pretty darn good how good that you are to East Grand Woodsman and I cannot wait to be having pancakes with that real maple syrup so thank you very much Stacy and I hope that you have a great evening but have a cup of coffee with me it's tw it's 11:30. I got in here about uh, 40 minutes ago got unpacked warming the place up you get with that background noise you hear is a Coleman lantern running in the background. It's a cloudy day out there and it's calm, so I'm expecting uh, I'm expecting a little bit of luck out here today. These are the kind of days that I've shot a deer in the past. Uh, dead calm, overcast, supposedly a chance of rain. I don't know if it'll be this afternoon or this evening, but I've had uh, I've had good luck on dark cloudy days like this so I got high hopes for tonight I'm gonna take it easy in the cabin here for a few minutes because 1130 now so I'm gonna hang out here until about one o'clock and then uh, a little after one I'll get myself up in the tree stand it's been a long week I hunted all week uh, and then headed home really quick for turkey dinner <laughs> And let me tell you, I was just in time. <laughs> Dinner was for one. And let's see, I got home at 12.30. <laughs> so I had enough time to take a shower, get cleaned up. And then we had turkey dinner this year at my sister-in-law's house. So that's where we headed for turkey dinner. And I was just in time. <laughs> hmm. But it seems good to be back out here, let me tell you. So much game out here. I'm still learning the country, still learning the runs, and still learning a whole bunch of stuff because we just took this property, just, just acquired this property back in the springtime and then took the time to build this outbuilding. So I didn't have a lot of time for scouting, but I feel like I'm setting in a pretty good spot for the limited amount of time that I scouted. So we'll see. It's a pretty good funnel. There's runs coming in from everywhere. Now it's just a matter of getting one to go that way. Who knows? Who knows? I tell people it happens about like that when you're sitting in a tree stand. You know, you'll be sitting there for hours and hours and the next thing you know there's a deer standing right in front of you. Big as life. That's the way it goes. But I am a tree stand hunter. I didn't used to be. I used to travel. I used to walk all over the place. I had to see what was on the other ridge or behind the other ridge or over the next over the next hill. And uh, I don't know, 25 years ago, I sat down and after that I started getting deer. So that's why I sit now. I do my scouting in... So usually I do my scouting in September and October, but this year I did not get any time at all for that. Oh yeah, and another good piece of news too, uh, part of this trip. On my way out of here yesterday, a turkey day, see I got uh, 15 acres right here, and beside me is, a guy, is the only other piece of property in here that's privately owned. Well actually there's two others, that, that, there's, there's 15 acres beside me that's privately owned and then behind me is a hundred acres that's privately owned 
and then the rest of it is Timber Company. So, but anyways, the guy next to me, uh, he come bopping out of the woods. <laughs> Haven't seen a soul in here uh, all of hunting season. And he would come down just to check on his property. So we got a chance to meet right, right here at the cabin, so that was nice. And we talked, swap names, swap telephone numbers and all of that. And he gave me permission to hunt his property as if it was my own. So that's really good. That's a pretty big, that's a pretty big, uh, that's a pretty big gift. Uh, he said, treat it like it's my own. So that's, uh, that, that's another 15 acres. So that makes this 30 acres right here, uh, right along Beaver Creek that I'll, I have my 15 and his 15 full, full permission to hunt and bear hunt on. So that's really good. Really, really, really good. That's uh, cause bear hunting I'd like to spread out just a little bit so I'll probably spread out over onto his land a little bit with the bear hunting so that'll be great nothing wrong with that let me tell you so that gives me a ton of property in here to be able to hunt that's for sure because it's about a thousand acres around us that's at least a thousand acres that's uh, timber frame uh, not tim t timberland country you know so that's uh, that's it they don't mind you hunting, they don't mind you using it. So that's that's really good. I need to talk to them about permission to bear hunt, stuff like that on it, as far as, you know, setting up for bear baiting and all that. That's part of the, uh, that's part of the rules and regulations here in the state. So, and I will because, well, I, 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 I might. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I've got 10 acres off to the right of me that there's a spot down there that's really private, really, really quiet. Bears like that, quiet and private. And I'm going to scout it out this winter a little bit more once we get through hunting season so I can get over there. And it just looks like a really good place to set up a, 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 a bear stand. So if that's the case, then, uh, then that's probably what I'm going to do. And then I wouldn't have to deal with the Timberland country anyways. But we'll see. We'll see. It's, it's nice to have options, and it's nice to be able to spread out. So I'm going to end this video with thank you, Stacy, for the maple syrup. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and this is going to go right up on that shelf, and it's going to wait for me to have a good pancake breakfast out here very, very soon. <laughs> I don't take time for breakfast in the morning during deer season, so that's why I'm going to save it. I'm gonna save it until I'm actually in here making a good breakfast for the with the with the pancakes and eggs and the whole nine yards. We'll have pancakes, eggs, and bacon and some pure maple syrup. <laughs> so I will see you in the next one and thank you very much for joining me here at Beaver Creek Deer Camp with your cup of coffee. <laughs>